Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be talking all about eBay shipping. I'm gonna go over every shipping option and what typically I use to ship things and what saves me money. So let's just go ahead and jump right into it. First of all, if you're mailing things like books, DVDs, CDs, printed music, <laughs> maybe that all falls within media mail media mail is by far the cheapest i just recently shipped out a set of 30 of the boxcar children books it sold for 46 dollars and shipping only cost me six dollars because i used media mail so if you're ever shipping books or cds dvds like i said printed music things like that that all falls within media mail and you're going to save a lot of money for everything else anything under a pound or up to 16 ounces that is going to be first class shipping and you can just use any box or poly mailer to ship those items. You cannot ship first class in an envelope that says priority mail on it. So you're gonna wanna use your own shipping supplies, things that you buy, or if you have a store subscription with eBay, every quarter they give you a coupon to use towards shipping supplies that are eBay branded. So you can go ahead and buy them every quarter and use those for your first class packages or even your priority packages but we'll go into that in a second. So you can use any of those poly mailers for your first class packages. Remember, it's anything 16 ounces or below, and the cost will range from the lightest weight, $2.76 to $5.12 for things that are 16 ounces. So just know that your price range will be in there, and if you're charging shipping for your items on eBay, just stick to about three to five dollars to cover your shipping costs. There's also USPS flat rate envelopes. I'm not talking about padded. I'm talking about like the papery style envelope. You pull the tab and seal them. Those aren't just for letters or documents. Those are for anything. Anything that fits in there will ship. You may need to reinforce the edges with tape, but that will save you a little bit of money when it comes to shipping your items. And it's ideal for things like jeans that fold nice and flat, but tend to be a little heavier. That will cost you $6.75 when you're shipping through eBay. So that's the regular flat rate envelope. The legal size is a little bit longer. That will cost you $7.04. So same deal as the other envelope. It's just a little bit longer. Anything that you can fit in there will ship. Just be sure to reinforce the edges with a little tape if it's something bulky. This is a padded flat rate envelope, and this is what I use for a lot of my clothing items. Just because I like the presentation of it, I like the stretch of it. Sometimes, to be honest, with the envelopes, I can get some tearing or it can get to the customer in a condition where it's torn on the side. It's not waterproof and it can be a little bit of a risk. The padded flat rates are a little bit better reinforced, they're more waterproof and you can stretch them and manipulate them a little bit easier. These will run you $7.33 if you're purchasing them through eBay. These are great for anything over a pound clothing wise that you can fit in there. Again, jeans, sweaters, heavier, denser things. I've shipped heavier things like metal sets or game pieces. I've shipped in padded flat rates because they are reinforced with that padding to keep things safe. So. This is a great option if you're wanting to keep your item secure and you want to make sure it gets to your customer in one piece. If something can't fit into these flat rate envelopes, you can pick up these free Tyvek envelopes from the post office. This is great if you have something that's over a pound that's not gonna fit into the other envelopes. Great for jackets, things that are two, three pounds, a little too heavy and bulky. The problem is you are going to be paying a priority rate based on where they live. So I'm in Utah, if they live in New York, I'm gonna be paying a lot more than if they live in California. So these are great, but you do have to check with your region. There may be a better option, which I'll talk about in just a second. So if you have a little bit of a larger item or you have something that you want reinforced in a box, there's the priority mail flat rate boxes. The small one will run you $7.28. It is rather small, so keep that in mind. The flat rate medium box is $12.42. These flat rate envelopes and boxes carry up to 70 pounds for that price. So just be aware of that if you have a really heavy item. And the large flat rate box will run you about $17. Now, there are two other options when it comes to shipping things in boxes, regional box A and regional box B. And what you're gonna wanna do is just get those boxes shipped to you. And by the way, all of USPS's supplies are completely free to have shipped to your home. So go on their website, browse, 
look and see what you can find. Go ahead and order as many supplies as you want and experiment with the different box sizes because you may run into a situation where regional box A will save you a few dollars compared to a flat rate box. Regional boxes A and B will run you anywhere from eight to $15, just depends on the region that you're shipping to. So if you're shipping something closer to your home in a neighboring state, it's gonna save you a little bit of money. So what's nice with eBay is you can just explore your options right in the shipping page and test out which boxes are gonna save you the most money. USPS even has shoe boxes that are designed to package shoes. So make sure you order those. Go ahead and check out the website. Everything is free. Order as many as you want. Get as many sizes as you want because there's many shipping needs you're gonna have and it's always great to be prepared ahead of time before the day comes and you need to ship it and you don't have the supplies. For international shipping, I choose to use the eBay Global Shipping Program. There's benefits to not using it, but I just honestly use it because it's easy. So what happens with the Global Shipping Program is you are shipping everything to Kentucky. It's like you're shipping something to Kentucky regionally. That's the cost for you. The buyer internationally pays extra to have their item shipped to them from there, the global shipping center for eBay. If I have a customer who's purchasing something in a priority mail flat rate padded envelope, I'm just gonna be charged $7.33. It doesn't matter where they live in the world. That's all I'm gonna be charged. The buyer pays extra on their end. Just be aware though, sometimes what happens is you get an international buyer who buys one of your items and then never pays. And the reason that happens is they see the item price and then they go to check out and they go, wow, fees are really high. I didn't realize I'd be paying $60 plus for shipping. So just be aware that fees can be a little tricky, if, especially if it's a larger item. Just be aware that international buyers can sometimes be turned off and want you to cancel their transaction because they see the fees associated with it. But I still haven't really had that many problems. The global shipping program has worked great for me. I may switch to international shipping of my own design, but for now, this works great. And then if you have a big box, a big heavy box, you're actually probably gonna wanna explore FedEx options over USPS or UPS. I have found FedEx home delivery to be the cheapest by far. For example, I shipped a big heavy bedspread in a 16 by 12 by 12 box. So a large-ish box, it was I think eight pounds and FedEx home delivery only charged me a little over $14. In fact, that was an international buyer who lives in Australia. I just shipped it to Kentucky. She paid an extra $36 on her end but it worked out great because if I had gone through USPS, it would have been $30 to ship it to Kentucky versus just the $14 or $15 that FedEx charged me. So be aware of that. I almost always go with FedEx home delivery if it's a larger item. And what's nice about eBay is you can just, you can just explore your options as you're preparing your shipment. The eBay shipping page lets you play around with prices before you purchase and print the label. So just know that you can explore a lot of different options before you settle on the one that saves you the most money. Okay, so let's walk through a couple of examples just to solidify what I've just explained. Um, I have right here a Patagonia half zip, like lightweight fleece, and I always include my business card as like a thank you. I wrap it in a poly bag just for presentation sake. You don't have to. I guess I just go the extra mile. And I stick it in my poly mailer. I actually got a ton of free shipping supplies from a friend of mine. So I have thousands of poly mailers now and all kinds of things that I got for free. So I don't bother buying the cute ones because I'll just wait until my free ones run out. I seal it up like this and then I use my little AccuTech scale here and I'm going to weigh it. And the link to any supplies that I use is in the description below. Okay, it weighs nine ounces. So I've selected first class package because I knew it was under a pound. And now I'm just gonna change this. And now that I've changed it to nine, we see that it's gonna cost me $3.96. And I have a thermal printer right here that does all of my shipping labels. So I'm, once I print it off, you can hear it going. I will peel it and stick it straight on the package. And I'm done. It's ready to be dropped off at the post office. Now let's do another one. Okay, so now I'm gonna ship these flats, these J. Crew flats that I sold. 
Um, they're a little bigger, so we're gonna see what size of package we're gonna need. I try not to cram things in, I can help it, because I just know as like as a customer, I don't know that I would appreciate what I just purchased being like shoved and pushed into something. So I will go up a size if I need to. Okay, so these actually fit into a padded flat rate envelope. So it's in a padded flat rate. And now I'm gonna just go ahead and select that. Sometimes you have to select the more services. Here it is, padded flat rate, it's $7.33. I'm going to print the label, okay? Great, now it's done, I just peel it and stick it right on the package and I'm good to go. And that about covers it. So as you can see, I only did two different types of packaging. There's gonna be a lot more that come up, but just know that what I went over is about the prices you'll pay. Factor that into your shipping cost if you, if you charge shipping for customers. Otherwise, it's pretty straightforward. If it's under a pound, first class. If it is a little bit larger, you may need to do priority mail. Consider the regional boxes, consider the flat rate envelopes. You're just gonna start to get a feel for what shipping will be with each item that you list. It just becomes habit. It really only takes a few weeks to get the hang of this shipping system with eBay. So I really hope this tutorial helped you. If you're just beginning, I hope it helps you not feel so intimidated. If you like this video and you want more tutorials, please give it a thumbs up and drop a comment to let me know. Subscribe to my channel if you want more content about how I run my business from my home as a mom. <laughs> my a little insight into my crazy life. Thanks so much for joining me and I will see you next time.